Namaste beautiful yogis and we've been in this house for four days now three or four days we've, we're pretty new here but I really love this city it's gorgeous it's just such a good feel here in this neighborhood and in the city and the city of Austin it's just gorgeous I didn't mean to leave you with a cliffhanger but I lost some of my footage and anyways it's probably better not to make the video super long anyways let me show you what I've been using on the road while we were on the road packing and super busy cleaning and unpacking house and moving across states we were using the four sigmatic medicinal mushrooms drinks and when we didn't have any furniture in LA we were cleaning and we stayed in the house for four days after we shipped all of our stuff so we had no blender no, just literally nothing and I've been making teas to kind of stay tranquil <laughs> and grounded and here they are my little collection um, I've been making for myself this one the reishi because it comes with reishi and a high concentration 1500 uh, milligrams of reishi and it's with tulsi and mint so to kind of ground yourself reishi is very dual uh, action it can balance you if you're stressed out and energize you if you're a little sluggish so I've been doing this for sleeping and relaxing more and for Johnny I make this one because it comes with rhodiola which is an adaptogen and lion's mane which gives you focus and mental clarity and memory and all of that and another one that I've been making a lot from for Sigmatic, the Golden Latte and the Chai Latte, they both are caffeine free and come with mushrooms, turkey tail for the gut and uh, turmeric shiitake for beauty and so forth. So I'm gonna make a tea now and then we'll talk. So what I do is I either use the individual packages when we're on the road, on airplane, etc. in the car or um, the big packages that they have and what i do is here there is almond milk and stevia or maple syrup and i don't have a blender yet oh actually my blender arrived today so but i haven't had a blender so i froth it you could potentially froth it in a blender too and here It froze pretty well and it tastes very nourishing vanilla like. Johnny, what would you say it tastes like? Kind of, yeah, creamy vanilla. Creamy vanilla, yeah. Kind of cacao vanilla, it's its, its own thing. It's you know, I mean, it's definitely got reishi flavor in it too, if you've had reishi coffee. Yeah, reishi has this bitter, but like real, in a nice way, bitter flavor. And after I froze it, I add hot water to it. We only have one mug. And Johnny just got it for me actually. Look how cool it is. It needs the beautiful yogis on the back. I know. We'll order our own mugs. And that's what I've been having. Sometimes at night if I want something a sweet treat, I will have the mushroom hot cacao mix and one of them is with hot peppers this one is with cinnamon and cardamom uh, and palm sugar so it's um, warming all right let's take his nice strong lion's mane Yay. to him look Thank what you. they're doing look at this too and um, what this has helped me do is it's helped strengthen my arms because babies become very clingy and so now I have to actually, this is what I'm doing, I'm actually moving boxes like this <laughs> and setting up everything and so this actually gives me the strength to do it. Uh, what is true is that baby is very clingy and she's been wanting us to hold her since we've been here. Sophie has done really well, good girl Sophie, she's done so well with the move and baby too, she's done well and in a good mood but just wants us to hold. And the company is offering 
15% off for my followers and the discount code is Ali Yoga. I'll post it below with the link. So check it out. And now baby is eating blueberries. Right baby? Uh huh. She's eating her blueberries in a little chair. Look you guys what I found. I've been dreaming about the Santa Claus melons for a really long time and I got two papayas from Trader Joe's I still don't know where to shop so I'm just buying whatever I can whenever I can and I'll be sipping on my reishi and while I'm sipping on my tea I'll tell you a little bit about why we decided to move mm. ever since i moved to la my intention was always to move out as soon as possible there was an attraction in a pool um there i knew there is something that i was meant to do there and i was not meant to leave it before i get it done Uh, but at the same time, I had this urgency always to leave LA to because Something about the energy makes me a little less grounded. I'm, I used uh, Outside of LA, I'm a very grounded person and in LA I have to constantly put effort in Not being frazzled. Maybe that's a big city thing, but I don't think so I think it's the energetics of the earth. They just sometimes work with some people and sometimes they don't work with other people, but nonetheless even though, it, even though it didn't make me as grounded, LA had a lot to give me. A lot is eating a lot of blueberries. LA had a lot to give me. Obviously, I started uh, my yoga there. My yoga teaching started there. And um, my, personal, <laughs> my personal practice did not start in LA, but my teaching started there. And I've... Uh, I've acquired a lot there in the field of yoga, just in personal search and so forth. Anyways, I always had the urgency to leave, but there was always obstacles. There was always reasons or feeling that I still need to stay. So we stayed and stayed so long that I, th I think altogether I might have... Let's see, maybe I've lived altogether 14, 15 years, something, I don't know. I'm, I haven't calculated it. Uh, but I've lived there twice and the second time was since 2006 so I don't know you did the math that's the second time and the first time was about a year and let's give babies eating these beautiful blueberries I'm about to do a little bit of yoga in after we finish talking but so it's a, and also LA became so crowded. We never went to the beach anymore. Um, we never wanted to drive anywhere. We actually did move out of LA center or the city. We used to live in West LA and Westwood, and I've been in Cover City and in Hollywood, and. That became so overcrowded. I think everybody is moving in LA and now with the YouTubers, they are all told that if they want to make it on YouTube, they gotta be in LA. I never benefited from that. I never collaborated with anybody. I just never benefited from a particular location in that sense, maybe energetically, but not like in the sense of networking. And I've done it all, maybe you know, but I've done it all just with pure content. And, um, so I've been dying, dying to move out. We were gonna, before we had baby, we were gonna RV. We were considering buying an RV and just traveling America. We were considering moving to Bulgaria. We wanted to move to Santa Cruz, to Hawaii. And I kind of wanted to move out of California altogether. And Austin came up as one of the few cities that are kind of that LA feel of, um, I don't know. 
alternative, progressive feel, music scene, etc. We definitely want you to live somewhere where there is stuff that kind of fulfill, fulfill who we are or strengthen who we are. She's eating so many blueberries, it's funny. Um, I have to stay away from the camera because I have you propped on <laughs> on reishi and latte boxes and mushroom boxes so um it's not a proper it's not a proper tripod uh, so we have to stand back otherwise it will cut my head off and um and we wanted to move somewhere where there is a little more land uh, greenery uh, the same type of progressive people we can find vegan things and so forth because that's important i will be planting fig trees i'll be planting or a uh, no, uh, mini orchard so if you have any recommendations or ideas or advice for me because i'm totally not a gardener yet please let me know there is an herb garden already in this house uh, we have a lot of oregano which is amazing because you know i'm the oregano I'm the self-proclaimed oregano queen. Are you done? Yeah. Yeah. So it's amazing that there is so much oregano around the house and need your blueberries. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Bravo, what do you mean? Bravo. So there is massive um rosemary so there is massive rosemary and oregano bushes um, here already planted and i will plant parsley basil to see um dill uh, purslane um, lavender hoshu wool i'll just plant everything basically and um, thyme there is sage here I think Texas sage which is a bush and um, what else will I plant I will plant a lot of cherry tomatoes maybe some tomatoes cucumbers uh, maybe I will build a mini greenhouse and I want to buy the orchard ready size fig trees which I haven't found anybody selling them yet they're all sold out but um, they're big trees they're like over six feet uh, and they're called orchard ready size so that's what i want to find i want to plant mulberries and there's such amazing varieties go on google and say mulberry varieties there is a weeping mulberry tree which is very cold resistant and it it's a weeping tree so you can pick them easily and it's beautiful it's just gorgeous then there's pakistani mulberry which can be up to five inches the fruit and it doesn't stain there's Persian mulberry, there's white mulberry, which is amazing. The taste of white mulberry is like phenomenal, like honey, but so <sighs> delicate. It's delicate. We're going to be playing with the Lego. And um, so I'll plant one or two mulberry trees, maybe the whipping one and the Pakistani one. I really want to try the big mulberries. I've never tried them. the really long, big, uh, massive mulberries. And apparently they have a raspberry like flavor. Then with the fig trees, there is the Texas Everbearing. Anything Everbearing, I'm there. <laughs> um, there is the Italian Everbearing, which sounds amazing. And it doesn't grow like a tree, it grows more like says, like a um, bush. Mm, there is the Cadotta, the white trees, etc. I will plant the ones that are cold resistant because often does get a little bit of um, a cold winter not if you have any suggestions for me about austin or texas please let me know i'm excited to be here and i love it it's gorgeous if you've never been to austin when i first came here we came to visit it and see if we want to live here i was so impressed it's so exotic it's so green thank you guys for all your support through the years and look out for uh, upcoming yoga classes because i will be doing Austin, Austin will give me different energy, so we'll flow differently now. Namaste.